up folks back here at three pound fishing on an evening fish that's a nice little eater we're letting go of course thanks for joining me we're a uh, vertical jigging do a little active captain on a busy sunday evening beautiful it's gonna get hot this week and uh trying to get out here before uh well before the heat comes up tomorrow and it's gonna be 100 degrees crazy stuff coming up so uh anyway i appreciate it and uh we're gonna go through everything that we're doing and having fun and it's all about that right now summer fishing is a great time to fish and uh, hopefully today we can, we can show that to you guys so with further ado let's do this thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies all right folks welcome back to three pound fishing boy we're gonna put some big fish in the boat loving the new boat sickness check it out we're getting out here getting out of the hole right here and uh this boat is a beast you can check out anything in regards to bass cat to sands marine out there clarksville ten uh indiana clarksville indiana uh but anyway dog days of summer around the corner we're putting slabs in the boat still at three pound fishing here we go all right we're gonna start off with that captain right away on this episode i gotta tell you one thing i'm surprised by how many boats are out here Pretty late, seven o'clock in the evening. 11.8, 10.8. That's the active captain right there. And there you go, folks. That's what we're seeing. Short of all the boats that are flying around me right now. That's what we see. That's what gets me excited. They're down there a little deeper than normal. Probably some low lying stumps. There's one back there. That's looking good. So we're gonna creep up on this, try to fight these waves. And uh, right now I'm pitch my normal stuff I got the sniping braid optimal this is my 10 footer those are rods and I've got a small 132nd ounce head with a big old crappie magnet bait just because I'm just trying different stuff um, look at those guys oh that did not take long so this is what I'm fishing with right here um, I typically would be fishing with a lot. I'm gonna try a bunch of stuff today, you'll see. But um, I wanted to try a really big body, and this one definitely has a big body as we get rocked. Well, they're hitting it, that's for dang sure. I can tell you that much. But they ain't taking it, which is what I was a little worried about. So we could cut it in half but I don't want to do that right away I want to see if we can do something else with it so here there I got one good fish too Woo, baby I'm telling you what yep you got it on active captain good deal right there big old bait you saw what I did though he missed and then I brought it right back down to him so that's a, that is a beautiful fish right there. So they really liked that action, which was interesting. Maybe they couldn't help themselves because they thought it was running. Maybe I need to be pitching this. I usually am more in favor of natural colors, especially on my home lake. But had quite a few guide trips this week, which is nice. So if you're interested in guide trips, please uh, give me a holler. Obviously, it gets a little hotter, but the bite's still good. I'm just gonna tell you. In fact, one of the guide trips this week is at night. I won't say it's at night, it's uh, three to eight. So it's, a, it's an evening to get away from the heat. So that's always a possibility. All right, so that was a good start. Now look at this pile right here. This is a classic, Pretty deep uh, structure, but uh, fish are pretty solid around it. I'm expecting a lot of these fish to come off this <laughs> on the very first drop, which is a big problem, you know, because you lose half your fish. And so a lot of times, even during guide trips, I'll have guys go at the same time, just because I'm hoping that we get, get two fish out of one, one pass. But there they are right there anyway, nonetheless. And I should be coming right on top of them. There they are. Release my bail to get it come all the way down there because they are a little deeper. And I expect a lot of them to come up. So once I see one moving, I'm trying to trig them. Miss that one. Let's see if we can get back down there. This bait comes loose pretty quickly. Right there. Feeling it with the braid. 
some of those fish look pretty darn good, so I'm hoping there they come. Got him. Boy, I had to lead him, but oh, and he got off. I couldn't set the hook hard enough. He hit that freaking hard. And I did switch up baits. Oh, it's a little bitty bluegill. But I'll tell you what, he freaking hammered it. Let me show you what I switched off to. I would have taken that bluegill right there on my bluegill day. I've got the bubblegum 132nd ounce head with that red, red, white, and blue uh, minnow bait of three pound fishing. You just have to go to three pound fishing to check it out. Right now, I've decided to move to the uh, the deeper water because all this boat traffic has really, I think, spooked these fish a little bit. They're just not as receptive. And even these are still a little bit sketchy. I'm gonna drop on them. Tell me what people are using. I would love to know this. What people are using for dampening of the noise and the vibration from the trolling motor. Um, I've got some. I think it's because my prop has a nick in it and it really wasn't doing it initially. And then I went to Wren Lake and I got a, a nick in it because I ran into a big old tree. Um, but if there's something out there rather than me having to buy a new prop, I would love to try something before I... It's not a bad idea always to have two props anyway, but... There's a crappie. And people have been asking me about my settings, which I get it. My settings on this Garmin is 100% the default settings that it came with. That's a medium noise reject. That's a TVG, I believe is off. Um, it actually, I switched it over to emerald green, even though the defaults are emerald or uh, amber. This bait's crushing it right now. Definitely the best bait of the evening. Right there. So here we are, big old stump in the middle of a creek. And um, there's not much to be secrets to it. They're gonna come flying at it probably. And uh, we can't see if we can't get one. See how they're just lined up down there below it? See if we got any super active ones that'll come up for it. Ooh, oh yeah, here they go. There he was. That wasn't that hard. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. All right. Bubble gum is now available in the one all sizes. Um, it is freaking hot. It's a beautiful pink. And this is that Patriot color again, not messing around. This is this is the money maker right there. And that is probably the biggest fish of the, the evening. And interesting enough, not a paddle tail. So we'll span that out just a little bit, see if we can't cast this thing on it and see if we can't get some just casting the drop, see if we can't get some aggressive ones right there. But anyway, I don't mind coming up just a little bit short because sometimes you'll get the you'll get the bait, the fish right on the corners and it won't affect the whole pile. So coming up just short is not such a bad play either. So here they come. Easy peasy, man. What a night on the lake though. Let me show you this sunset. That's a good fish. That's certainly a great fish right there. Let me show you what we got going on here, folks. Don't get much better than that, folks. Other than the boats. I could do without the boats. But anyway, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Three Pound Fishing Guide Service. Give me a holler. 
July, August. Those are the dates we're looking at right now. And I'll tell you what, fishing's fantastic. As I'm proving to you today, 100 degrees, it don't matter. We're gonna put fish in the boat. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing. Partnered up with these fantastic companies.